So Alex Ferguson back in the dugout at Old Trafford. And it will be the rest of the world in their blue strip to get the game underway. Managed by Carlo Ancelotti. The strikers, Patrick Kleiber and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, two Champions League winners in their day to begin proceedings at Old Trafford. A footballing feast, but it will be a competitive edge. We had Nelson Dorma prior to kick-off, that evoked memories of the World Cup semi-finalist. Chance for the first Beckham cross of the day, which is cleared by his former Manchester United teammate Sylvester. And then Cafu back to dispossess Cole and the first Scholes volley of the day goes over the crossbar. Well, he's got the technique to put that in the, in the back of the net. He's, uh, over the years, he's scored some wonderful goals, Paul Scholes, and it's been a great start to the game. Even such a good cause, can't prevent that. Footballing rivalry. Back trying to pick out Ashley Cole. He's up against Cafu. Two former Roma fullbacks, and Cafu has committed the foul. Assumes responsibility and that needed tipping over. By the former Manchester United goalkeeper Edwin van der Zaar. Well, you know, he's, he's always had quality that right foot at uh, delivering crosses in dead ball situations. Yeah, well, the Great Britain Ireland team have two current, three current Premier League players in there. Starting 11. Lovely control by Beckham. Sylvester with the interception. Five hurts dummy. You just look at the rest of the world and they might be better off putting someone like Park who's playing left back into the midfield and good energy because he's pretty full. So it's his at 45, as we mentioned. That was class, that wasn't he? He brings it down, walks away. And you just wonder, how, you know, could they just prolong it a little bit and just come on for 20 minutes in a game? You know, with a, it's, some of them still got that 20 minutes in them, which is quality to what? Crouch. Fancy a go, good save from Van der Zaar. Ashley Cole on the follow-up into the side netting. He's never been in for his goal scorer, has he, Ashley Cole? That was a good chance, wasn't it? Great Britain and Ireland dominating the game, which you expect with the legs there. Nicky Butt, good effort, another good save. Van der Sar tested this time low to his right. Certainly not dampening the enthusiasm, though. The side flag is up. It's a fabulous ball from Ronaldinho. Well, it's took him what? It's just uh, 11 and a half, couple of 11 and a half minutes to get into the game, really. He's not touched the ball. But I'm surprised. You've got to give him the ball wherever he's available. Back and trying to find Crouch, who's onside. And denied by Van der Zaar. Here comes Fletcher. Sylvester stops it on the line. Well, the rest of the world are living dangerously. Well, Peter Crouch should score first, shouldn't he? But to Van der Sar again, so all his experience, fantastic save. Beckham to cross it in. Skulls arriving! Well, that was like winding back the years. Beckham's cross. Skulls header. Seen that once or twice. And it's broken the deadlock with the first goal of the afternoon. And Paul Skulls finished it off. Well, it has been coming. Again, this right hand side. Alex Ferguson sitting there with a smile, as you say, and how many times you saw that ball coming in from David Beckham over the years on his right hand side, wraps his foot round it. Scholes knows he's going to hit the spot, he just gambles on with the opponent. Organisation by Sylvester. Strong challenge from Figo, and it needed to be. And there's the trick from Ronaldinho. Look one way past the other. Cafu. Assisted Ashley Cole there. Cafu oh, hasn't given it up. York goes down under the challenge of John Terry and yeah. Luigi Kalina says get up. Back on one side, Giggs the other. A sport for choice. He's chosen Giggs. And he went for goal himself. Wasted opportunity, good counter attack. Right, Giggs got a smile on his face there. Right, trying to catch the keeper out. 
dangerous player on the pitch at the moment. And Okuto winning it in the air. Obviously. Played by Scholes. Beckham's looking for Giggs. And he's found him. It's brilliant. Giggs. Perhaps couldn't get that. Neither could Fletcher. And the rest of the world survived. Scholes has probably had more touches of the ball than any other player at the moment. Yeah, he's just playing that role just off Peter Crouch, isn't he, today? He's got that license to stay higher up the field and uh, he's already been heavily involved in the best moments. Ooh, not that fun. Even he's human. Don't see that too often. That might get mentioned at the function later on. Terrific block by Mikel Silvestre. It was. Again, Beckham has been heavily involved in most things Man United have done. Man United is something great. Here you go. Popping up on the left hand side. Seedorf to pick out Cafu, who was unlucky. It was a lot better by the rest of the world, wasn't it? And uh, Cafu was waving to the crowd. He's, uh, he's still got that energy, doesn't he? Look where he is, how high he's got up the field. He wants the ball, it's a lovely weighted pass. Lovely skill from York. And Mickey Buck went down with nobody near him there. Well, this is what happens when you retire, isn't you? Mickey Buck will compete in the UEFA Youth League. Oh, he will be Paul Scholes, and uh, he might have said, yeah, ten years ago, but not today. Fletcher. Scholes time to bring it down. And flash it over the bar. He's on a mission today, isn't he? He's got that role with the uh, number 10 role, really, so uh, he's enjoying himself. He could have had a hat trick easy so far. All by Ronaldinho back to defend this for the rest of the world. Needs to deliver it. Crouch for the first touch and then John Terry. Couldn't find the target. Typical centre-half, isn't it? Unless it's on the head. Stay back. Once it's hit the ground, you might as well start running back. It's a good chance for John Terry. It's difficult, it's bounced high. He's trying to get over it. Here come Great Britain Ireland again with Ashley Cole. Three in the penalty area. Just too strong for the man of the moment. David Beckham arriving. It's his goal that most of the stadium are waiting to see. Well, Ashley Cole, just a little bit too much on it. He didn't need to put as much pace on it. There's Park. Ronaldinho looked at those having a shirt pulled, then Figo! Almost. Well, it's the first bit of, well, good opportunity they've created the rest of the world, wasn't it? And uh, Ronald Zeno has not really been on the ball up. Figo gives a one to great strength, great layoff. He doesn't blast it, he just tries to place it. He just puts his foot round it. A square to back. McAllister. <laughs> A lovely touch, goals. He's shooting on site today. Two eight years, isn't it? Like about six attempts he's had on goal, hasn't he? And down again. He was 40 years, 205 days old when he won his last Premier League medal. Edwin van der Zaar. Age was never a problem. In fact, Alex Ferguson said he got better with age. Here's Ronaldinho. Oh, what about that? Oh, it's a shame it won't count because the offside flag is up. But that was exquisite from Ronaldinho. Well, that's what you come to these games for. When his name's on the team sheet, you expect things like this. He gets a little bit of good fortune, but looking one way, look, he's, he's looking to the right. 
It might be slightly slow, but nothing's changed so far today. You know, it's like you don't need to play anybody in front of him really. He's just he's sort of a right back, right back, wing back, or um, right winger. He just did the whole right hand side. So whoever played in front of him must have been a dream because he could have gone up and down that pitch. Back into Kratz. Couldn't quite pull that one off, and it might still be alive for Great Britain and Ireland. McAllister, skulls again available and again shooting. Blocked by Sylvester. And the foul by Ashley Cole. Oh, and now Figo no. might be in the wars. We've we, we run out the substitutions too already. That's the world. Yes, Peter Crouch with that basically kick. I remember him scoring here. Did he score a hat trick against Jamaica? The only good thing is if he misses, he doesn't have to do the robot celebration, so. But, oh, he fell heavily on his shoulder there, Figo. Oh, we've already seen Nicky Butt stretch it off. Beckham's cross. That's for a game with an important defensive header. Now there might be a break on for the rest of the world. Ronaldinho, beautifully done. Now Kiver taking on Carragher and going round Carragher. And then Terry came to Great Britain Ireland's rescue. That was quality by Clive here, wasn't it? Maybe Carragher, he sends it one way than the other. He had to pay to get back into the ground there, didn't he? Clyburn, of course, who famously, back in 95, the winning goal in the Champions League final for Alex. Giggs trying to go all the way through. Van der Zaar again, very alive to the situation. Now he's another player. Nine gigs for me, could easily play 20 minutes off an hour in a game. Look at the pace, still got that trick. York. Figo on to his left. I think we just come into the game the rest of the world because you've got to say Great Britain and Ireland have come off the pace. They'll be feeling the pace a lot, they've a lot of ball. Fitness is a big thing and the game's slow, it suits. He's eventually arrived. Neatly done by Crouch. Beckham's encouraged to shoot. Still no golden goal on his golden day. And career he had as well in the Champions League with three different clubs. And Seedorf. That's a of Ronaldinho. It's strange, isn't it? When Ronaldinho gets the ball, you just you don't want to pass it there. is possessed by Park. Now, is there an opportunity here for the rest of the world? The ball was just behind Figo. Beckham onside. And he's in here, he's away from Pires. He was trying to tear up actually Paul. And I'll tell you something, Fernando Puto, not for the first time in this first half, at 46 in the right place at the right time. Well, you just said it here, TV. His experience knows, he knows, he anticipates where the ball's going. Look, he's running back. Last minute of the first half, here's Scholes. Trying to slide in Crouch, he's offside. Well, Crouch. A smart finish. And the flag was already up. Yes, he was offside. We've got a good view from up here. Lesbian sticks his flag up really quickly. Again, Paul Scholes. Yeah, he's a good two yards offside, and it's a good finish. And that is the last action of this first half of the match for children. And it is Great Britain and Ireland who have the lead. Edwin van der Zaar has kept the score down, but he was beaten. Great Britain and Ireland. Looking to keep that clean sheet intact. Here's Sol Campbell. From England teammate, takes from that in the first half. Catherine. <laughs> the here was always going to find him. It's cut out by Campbell. And Catherine and Ashley Cole continue their personal. Dina. 
Jesus. Ball didn't come off that time. And David Seaman, his first touch. He was in the World Cup squad with you in his early international career. Yeah, 1990, I was there, and uh, unfortunately for him, when in the training, when everybody starts whacking the ball from all over the place into the, uh, the goal, David was stood in the goal, and unfortunately, had his hand stuck up, and uh, one of the balls hit the top of his finger, pushed his finger back, which he had to go home. Hopefully, he'll get through this second 45 minutes. Swung back by Fletcher. Crouch from range. And Ray van der Haal, the former Manchester United goalkeeper. Donovan. Ronaldinho looking for the American and finding him. This possessed in the end by Carragher. And one of the trouble winners for Manchester United's. 99 season. Vigo, this is patient from the rest of the world. Clyburn. So many bodies back there. Tidied up in the end by Darren Fletcher. And given away by the West Brom player. Pires. Find the curler. Well, the rest of the world have definitely come in at the game. And, uh... They're dominating the ball at the minute. Oh, last year in the Indian Super League, that FC goer, Robert Perez. 22 now. Ronaldinho. First time touch to Figa. Ronaldinho's at it again. Now, can he finish it off? Seaman got a touch, and it was an important one. Well, the game now has really dropped its pace and it's suiting Ronaldinho. He's finding little holes, little pockets where he's picking the ball up. And uh, they're not closing him down as quick now, so we're starting to show all them skills which we've uh, seen over the years. Not fluent, but uh, it, with his ability, that's why it's always a question, because he is capable of doing that. The score and got sent off in that game. Suspended for the semi-final and came back for the final to help Brazil lift the World Cup. Here's York, who captained Trindan Tobago at the World Cup. And he's got the rest of the world a free kick. Old oh, Trump, a substitution for Great Britain and Ireland, and Mason and Ireland. Manchester City. Yep, and we're going to see Ronald Dino V. David Seaman again. Will it be the same result? Here comes Ronaldinho. Couldn't test Seaman on that occasion. <laughs> and the conversation continues. Not this team, he's saying. Figa. Clybert. Oh, there's Louis van Gaal's assistant manager at the Summer's World Cup for the Netherlands. He's picked out York. He was looking for a penalty. That's twice he's gone down to eight York now. Mike David Beckham, formerly of LA Galaxy. Ronaldinho trying to find it. Seaman able to gather. All time record goal scorer and appearance maker for the United States. He's looking for a return ball from Dwight York. And he's gone round Phil Neville, but not Carragher. So Dwight York when he does do that, he looks like he's going to pass it. He just drags it with the inside of his foot to go on the outside of the player. Michael Owen has mentioned that he scored five times for Manchester United. Most famously at that end against Manchester City, and he was close to that. Yeah, it's good delivery and a uh, bit of eye contact between the two of them, wasn't it? Owen started towards the back, makes that run to the near post, so don't go with him. It's a nice little touch. Superb ball to Beckham. Assessing the situation, David Beckham is looking for Scholes' his run, and then Owen, Michael Owen, 2-0. The former England teammates embrace Michael Owen has a goal on his return to Old Trafford, and Great Britain and Ireland have doubled their advantage. I think Phil Neville would add words to David Beckham, he made a 60-yard run on the overlap, wouldn't give him it.
He picks Scholes up at the far post. It's a great pullback. A little bit of good fortune moment, but the finish eventually is a good finish. Just pops up there. It's a good volley. It's in it. Good touch by Scholes. Gives Great Britain and Ireland a two-goal cushion. Here's Figo. Ramsell Campbell. Right, you tried to give it in back. Figo still going. Terrific block from Ashley Cole, and it needed to be. Nearly a moment of magic from Figo. Sinclair. Sinclair taking on Cafu and <laughs> going to ground rather easily. We're not going to get that. Do you think we'll have Trevor? But uh, just going back there to Figo. Wonderful feet, step over. That was his trademark, wasn't it? Donovan away from Neville. A little bit of space now for York. Donovan's available again. Figo, Ronaldinho. York is offside. I think we're looking for the perfect goal there. York. Trying to feed Donovan onside. Back to Dwight York. 2 1. Dwight York. Who scored 65 times for Manchester United has the first goal of the day for the rest of the world, and they've managed to reduce the deficit for Carlo Ancelotti's team. What a very good goal as well, though, wasn't it? Great ball by him. This is a great pullback by Donovan. York puts him in. You think he's got a square across the goal? He's got options in the box. Everybody thinks he's going across the six-yard box. Great pullback, and that's a wonderful finish by Dwight York. Passes it into net. Doesn't blast it. Side foot, opens himself up, and just passes it, bottom corner. That's the former Portuguese international once more. Mandinho, tricks and flicks. Going to become more evident here. York. Cliver. What a goal that would have been. And the former Dutch international denied by David Seaman. I hope Ronaldinho's coming at his own now, isn't he? A few goals shown some great touches as well, I've got to say. The game's really stretched. Back up. There's the effort. He doesn't, he doesn't want to score, does he, David Beckham, really? He's trying his hardest to get a shot on target. He'll be happy at the minute, though, but again, he's picked that ball up. Skull's heavily involved. He's just leaning back. And David Beckham's halfway line goal would be the dream script on a day like today for him suffice to say there's a few tired legs out there at the moment but here come the rest of the world with Ronaldinho tried to step inside Sol Campbell there was no way he was ever going to shoot he's got to make it look good but it was too easy for him to run in the box and pull the trigger and score so he's Sol Campbell knew that he could see he's going to do a trick on us here Ronaldinho Clybert might have a shooting opportunity. Locked by Cole and then a tired effort from Cafu. Picks out Neville instead. David Beckham. Kept in by Cole. Oh, Van der Haar. And now it is it. You never lose that coach's instinct. Mistake by Ray Van der Haar. And Michael Owen alive to the situation to get his second at the Stratford end and Great Britain and Ireland's third. Yeah, again, a lot of time on the ball. Comes across him to the far post. Ashley Cole squares it. As you see here, he's got all the time, space. Ball in and this is it across. It's Raymond van der Hola, this one. And uh, Michael Owen, as you said, goal scorers just seem to think. Goals. Encouraged the shoot. He's gone for the chip. Almost. 
a Paul Scholes special. Well, he tried it first half with Van der Sar, didn't he? He didn't get any luck. Van der Sar read it and caught it quite comfortably. But this time, looks like he's he, he a great disguise on it. It does look like he's going to put power in it. And he just dinks it. And again, if it comes back off the bar, that would be a hat-trick. Would it be for Michael Owen? How difficult a technique is that, Chris Rodden? There's the one more left. Ronaldinho! <laughs> Seaman was beaten. Well, look at David Seaman. Look at him as if to think, you're not going to do it again. You've had your, whatever years you've had on that last one. I don't want another one. But you're right, so we saw some, he has the quality he's got. Just digs it out of his feet, look, little clip. He's all, you just don't know what he's going to do, Ronald, do you know? And there's the final whistle. Terrific afternoon's entertainment. Sir Alex Ferguson's return to the dugout at Old Trafford is a winning one.